The snorkel is probably one of the best pieces of equipment a scuba diver can purchase if he plans on going snorkeling. Although they do have great value if you're swimming across the surface to get to a dive site because they allow you to breathe with your face in the water so that you can move more efficiently without wasting the gas that's in your cylinder. But how useful really are they underwater and is leaving it on your mask the best way to do it in 2023. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the snorkel, the progression of how snorkels have been manufactured over the years, and whether or not this snorkel is actually gonna be the best for you as a scuba diver. So we're gonna look at several different models of snorkels and show you what they're actually used for. And then I'm gonna kind of give you my biased opinion of why I think the little cargo or the roll-up snorkel is gonna be the best, say for more experienced divers. So one of the biggest topics that causes a lot of controversy in the scuba industry, of course, is the snorkel. And the old saying goes, the reason we still have it in the open water program is manufacturers push to make sales. I don't know if that's true or not. I've worked in this industry for a very long time and that was always the saying for me. We sell snorkels to open water students simply because we need to make a sale. It's an easier way to do it. It's a piece of equipment that say the training agencies are required to have and they're being pushed by the manufacturers to make a sale. But whether or not that's true, the snorkel does have a great value. And personally, I have a snorkel. As a matter of fact, I have four different snorkels that I currently use. Well, I don't really use this one anymore. We're gonna to get to it here shortly. But I do wanna talk about what I use these snorkels for, and then I wanna show you how I actually utilize a snorkel while scuba diving. The first one that we're gonna look at, of course, is a free diving snorkel. Now, this is just from the Mares uh, line. This is their ProFlex series. It's got a contour here that's actually gonna fit my head shape, if you will. It's got a little quick release clip, and I use this when I go out and I'm actually free diving. What I like about it is super lightweight, folds down to practically nothing, so I can store it very easily. But it's kind of a rigid uh, shape and design here. And I really like the fact that I can pop the mouthpiece on, put a new mouthpiece on, and it's quick, easy to clip on, super simple. But once again, this is strictly for free diving. The next snorkel I've got, this is what I use for say just snorkeling, just going out for fun. Maybe I'm down at Crystal River swimming with manatees. Maybe I'm out playing in a pool or in a lake with my children. This is kind of the snorkel I go to. Once again, it's got a quick release clip here. It's got a little corrugated area. It's got a really nice, comfortable silicone mouthpiece. It does have a purge if I want to go under. And if I don't want the hassle of having to clear the snorkel, of course, it's got a cap here that closes off. So as I go underwater, this little plunger comes up, closes that one-way valve off, and it does not allow water to come in. So it's great for snorkeling. This snorkel here is actually an oldie goldie. So this was one of the first snorkels I ever had back in the 1980s, which is when I started to learn how to dive. But you'll notice that it's pretty much the same design as what we've got today, with the exception there's no sealed top on it. It's just an open top. Still has the corrugated part here at the bottom, makes it flexible, easy to use. Of course, we got a very comfortable silicone mouthpiece. Mine back in the day did have a purge on it, but you'll notice there's no clip to clip to your mask. And that's because we used to use what was called snorkel keepers. Basically, what you do is just thread the keeper down onto the snorkel, and then you would run that up through your mask strap thread it back on like so. And it made it really nice and secure. It was kind of a pain in the butt to actually take off or add whenever you did need it, but it was a nice secure method. Nowadays, most of us use snorkel keepers for other things such as accessory holders. So you can actually go through a D-ring or something on your BC, you can hold a mouthpiece, you can hold flashlights, you can hold whatever you want by doing that. The main snorkel that I use nowadays is the cargo snorkel from XS Scuba, and I really like the snorkel. It's very well built. It's very just small, compact. I can put this in a pocket. I can put it in a dry suit pocket, put it in a BC pocket. But what I really like about it is how easy it is to deploy. So if I open it up here, you'll see it basically just pops right out into position. I can, of course, just clip directly to my mast strap and go with it. It does have a splash top. It's not a true waterproof top, but it's a splash top. So if a wave splashes over, it's not gonna go directly down in it like it would with the open top. 
but it does have a purge here on the bottom, a very soft silicone mouthpiece, so it's very comfortable in your mouth, and it's adjustable. I can slide this up and down to basically adjust it to my height, and then whenever I'm ready to stow it away again, I can simply just roll it up. It's got a little clip here, the back side of the clip, it just kind of rolls back up, and then of course I can store it away. But knowing that I've got these four different types of snorkel, which one's gonna be the best for diving? Well, what I'm gonna do is show you a quick video of how I use a snorkel as a scuba diver because I think we would all agree none of these snorkels actually work underwater. They're only gonna work at the surface. So if they don't work underwater, why are we still teaching students to simply leave it on their mask? So I'm gonna show you a quick video of how I use a deployable snorkel here and show you just how easy it is to clip it on. And I'll even give you some thoughts of when you should wear it while diving and why you actually shouldn't wear it while diving as well. So guys, as I'm here doing my safety stop, I wanna show you just how easy it is to deploy a roll-up snorkel. Now, as side mount divers, typically we'll carry pouches with us and it's easy to stow a snorkel away. We understand that in an overhead environment or say, if you, even if you're going into just a shipwreck, that snorkel's not really gonna do you much good. And it's also not gonna do you much good, say, if you're just swimming underwater. It's only meant to be used at the surface. Well, as you can see, I simply store my snorkel in my pouch, of my side mount pouch, if you will, and I pull it out during my safety stop. I have basically three minutes during the safety stop to pull this snorkel out, install it on my mask. And since this snorkel has the clip, it makes it a lot easier to install than what we did back in the day with those pesky old uh, snorkel keepers. So I could very easily just clip it onto my mask, signal my buddy that I'm okay, and then as soon as I surface, I can go straight from, say, my regulator into my snorkel, which would allow me to swim over to the boat safely. So as you can see guys, using a roll-up style snorkel is very simple to do, it's very safe to do. You've got plenty of time during your safety stop to pull it out, deploy it, attach it to your mask, and that way when you're at the surface you can actually use it. And just the reverse of that is even easier. You simply just take it off, roll it up, put it back in your pocket. But if you don't like these flimsier style and you still decide to go with a larger style snorkel, because it's got the corrugated hose here at the end, you can still very easily fold it up into a smaller package, leave it in your BCD pocket until you need it, and you simply deploy it during your safety stop and attach it. The clips on here is what makes things so much easier than what we had back in the day. Once again, back in the day, you just had a tube style snorkel that had these snorkel keepers, these little figure eight pieces. And let me explain something to you. The silicone and the rubber that's being used and these plastic tubes, they don't slide very easily. So when you go to install it, it's very difficult, let alone the fact if you're diving during the winter time, you have, say, a thick hood and even thicker gloves. Being able to reach up, get that silicone to slide along the silicone, and then getting it stretched over the tube, you might be able to get it on, but as you can see, it's not easy to adjust. And I know someone's going to say, but you can just slide it up, and you can. But trying to slide this plastic tube on the silicone is very difficult. I can't push it up. I'm having to actually stretch the silicone to do that, and over time, you're just gonna wear that snorkel keeper down to where it just breaks. And as you can see, even this last 20 seconds or so, I still don't have it adjusted where it's at. It's just not as practical as what the clips are nowadays. We live in a, a very technologically advanced uh, civilization. There's no reason we shouldn't be using the clips nowadays. Now, once again, if you still use an older style, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you wearing that snorkel if it makes you feel safe. For me personally, I feel perfectly safe without wearing the snorkel and simply deploying it when I need it. There's a lot of classes that you're gonna take where snorkels are not allowed. Most overhead environment courses, regardless of the agencies, they're gonna tell you that that snorkel is actually not allowed during that class. I know in the public safety class I teach, we don't allow it. In <clears throat> just about all the overhead environment classes I teach, we don't allow snorkels as well. And most training agencies have even went as far as to say, outside the open water program, it's up to the instructor. We have instructor's discretion on whether or not we allow snorkels during specialty programs. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below. Should you always wear a snorkel? And if you should, is there a particular style that you should wear? And if somebody believes that you should wear, but they like the roll-up snorkel, why are you not rolling it up and stowing it away when you're not actually using it? And I would really be curious to know, has anybody ever used their snorkel underwater?
which is what we as divers want to be do, go underwater. But guys, I really hope you like this video. I'm not going to tell you that it's right or wrong to wear or not to wear. I just want you to open your mind to other things out there and be a little bit more educated as a diver. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.